Hi and welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk to you about smart homes and how they can make your life easier. Now the thing is, is when it comes to smart homes, there's a lot of talk around different technologies, products, all range of different things out there in the market. It can be quite confusing, but also as well, there can be quite a disparate amount of different technologies and products that you can use. Now the problem is, is that these can become quite weighty and quite complex to upgrade, control, install and manage. Now Hive have released a range of different products from heating control, lighting control, water control, but also as well things like security such as motion and also as well things like window and door sensing. Now the great thing is, is that all of these range of products fit together in a very seamless manner but easy to control and easy to manage. I want to tell you how these can fit into your life very simply. So let's take a look at the products in a little bit more depth and see how they fit into your life. So firstly, let's try and understand on what an average smart home user would want to try and do within their home. Number one, most people tend to try to control their heating and also as well their water. So you would need some things such as this, which is basically to um, replicate or replace the actual standard thermostatic control that you would have. So instead of manually setting what temperature you want and having a basic timer, what you can now do is you can use the smart control that comes with Hive and you can do things such as boost, you can do things such as schedule setting, geolocation, so it knows exactly where you are, whether you're in the house or out of the house, but also as well, you can actually start to reduce your energy usage. So we'll take a little bit of a look further in depth into this later on in the video, but let's take a look at what the next piece is. So the second part of the home that people tend to look towards changing to a smart capability is the lighting control. Now that allows you then to be able to control the lighting from wherever you are, but also as well on pretty much any device, whether it be a watch or a phone or a tablet or even the internet. Now Hive have got a range of bulbs, this is just a coloured version of the bulb. They actually do white versions and dimmable versions as well. Now the great thing that comes from this is that I can actually decide whether I want this in different lumens of versions of white. So from say a nice warm white through to a cool blue white. But also as well I can choose whatever colour within the palette range that I would like. So whether it be red, um, or whether it be blue, green, whatever you would like. It's very simple to do and very easy to control. So the third aspect of the home that people tend to try to make smart is the security aspect of their home. Now the great thing is, is that Hive have thought about this already and have released a range of products that allow you to look at the security aspect of your doors, your windows, but also as well the movement within and out of your home. So, take for example here we have a movement detector, it's very small, very sleek, but it's smart enabled. So it's wireless, but also as well I can run other things alongside this. So another one of the other products that I mentioned is the high door and window sensor. Very sleek, very small, but also as well totally wireless. So very easy to put into a range of different windows, doors, but also as well, you can try and find all sorts of other uses for these um, and I'll go into that later on in the video. So, let's take a look at how these products can fit into your life and make it easier. So I could probably sit here for many hours talking to you about smart homes and the products that you can use and transform your home into this amazing tech palace. However, I think the thing here is, is that you can see a range of different videos on how to use in the individual products. But I think the key thing here is, is to talk to you about how these actually fit into your life, but also as well how it makes it just so much easier and how they all fit together. I think the great thing that Hive have done here is they've actually integrated every single product and really thought forward to how they can actually get these to work in the most easiest way possible. So let's take a look at the apps, let's take a look at the products and how they all work together. So the way that you take all of these products together is using an application on either your phone or your tablet and what you do is basically configure the devices using that application 
And what that then allows you to do is have a really easy way of controlling and managing. But also as well, the great thing that comes from all of these is you can actually integrate each one of the components together using the application. So be it you're wanting to turn the lights on when you see some motion in the house, or turn your heating up on your approach home from work. You can also as well do things such as if you've got small children, you can set the light to come on in the middle of the night if they're going to the bathroom, so it's like a nice little night light. But also as well, we can look at things like if the front door is opened, um, it will notify you. So another one of the examples, which is very, very useful, is take for example, if you've got hair straighteners, one of the plugs attached to some hair straighteners will allow you to understand on whether or not you've actually turned them on or off. So again, stopping you having to go all the way back home to check whether they're actually turned on. So again, the great thing is, is that all of these products have really been thought about in a whole rather than individually and then brought together. So Hive have really spent a lot of time in their research and development to bring together the correct products and the correct configurations. Okay, so let's take a look at the way that Hive products are controlled and how that they all fit together. So as we can see here, we've got, take for example, our hallway. The hallway is currently at a 20.9 degrees so it's not going to increase the temperature at all because we've currently got 20 as our set temperature. So if I wanted to change that, that would be very simple. I can either do it directly on the thermostat or what I can do is if I go manual and I select it to say 22 degrees, what will happen is we will see that the target will change on the actual unit here. So there we go, there's 22 degrees showing now. So that's an example of some of the heating controls but what we've got also as well, we've got things such as the bulb. So I can open up one of the lights and I could say, okay, well, I want this to be on a different spectrum of white, warm white, mid white, then, but I can turn the bulb on and off quite simply just by doing that. We also as well have things like mimic feature, which allow us to mimic the bulb as if somebody was in the property. So great if you're away from home, but also as well, we can change the colors so I can change the full gamut of colors through from greens, through to blues, through to purples, and through to reds. And again, I can use a dimmer capability on that as well. So I could say I want 40% of red, or I want a white in a mid-white, and I want it to be 100%. I can also as well see the current status of things like um, the rear garden. So this current PIR detector, motion detector, is currently detecting motion and that's mostly because we're sat right in front of it. We can also as well see that we have a utility door here. Now what I've done is I've taken the actual product here and if we have a look what we'll see is if I take this apart we'll see this open. So if I refresh that we can see the actual device is open. If I bring these together as if it was attached on the window or door, what I can do is I can slide this down and it will show that it's closed. Now the thing that comes from these devices is it's not about the individual item. It's not about whether or not you've got a door detector or a window detector or a motion detector or any of the other products. It's all about the way that they work together. So take for example, if I open this, what I want to be able to happen is I want to notify myself that this has actually opened. So take for example, if I open the utility door and click on actions, I can add in a new action. Now these actions are all preset and it allows me to have things such as notify me when the door is opened and it will send me a push notification to my phone. I could also do exactly the same for if I wanted to say, has it been closed? So let's pop them in and let's see how this works. So we have the device here and what we can do is we've got this closed. Yep, we've got that closed now. So if I open that, what will happen is I will get a notification that pops up saying that it's open. So we've set a utility door to have an action. So that's gonna notify us if our utility door is opened. We've got things such as we can change the lighting and the heating 
But bringing all of these together is where the real value comes from it. So if I open up um, the menu settings and go to actions, I can then start seeing all the actions that we've created. So what we can do here under the actions menu is we can say, let's turn on a light when we open up a door sensor. So the utility door, we'll select the utility door and we want to turn on the hallway ground and we want that to just to happen whenever the door is opened or closed. So there we go, what we'll do is we'll open this, we will see a notification come on the screen. There we go, so we've got an open and also as well as you can see here, the bulb is turned on. So there we go, there's an example of how these two work together. But again, what we can start doing is we could do things like, take for example, if we, we want to turn on a light when there's motion detected. Now this could be, take for example, you've got small children and what you want to do is have one of these um, motion detectors within their bedroom. So during the evening when they're asleep, if they want to get up to go to the bathroom, it could turn on the light for them at a certain level. So take for example, this one is the rear garden, but this could be your bedroom. So we'll select that one and we can select a lamp. And what we want to do is we want to turn that lamp on, but we only want to turn it on for, take for example, three, five minutes. Okay. So when we create motion on this, it turns on the bulb. So in summary, if you're looking to enable your home as a smart home, or just basically looking to make your life a little easier with some workflows or routines, change maybe some scheduling, things like that, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the Hive product range that they have to enable your home to make it smart. I've really enjoyed taking a look at these products and I really hope you take some time to take a look. I will be also as well doing a range of different videos in depth into each one of these products showing you the ins and outs of how to actually configure, install and maintain the actual products. So check them out and they will be coming in the very near future. So please feel free to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video, but also as well, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer any of the questions you may have. Also as well, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in another video.